Hey, 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 Tommy. Hey, Dave. You okay, man? Yeah, how are you? Have you still got that kind nah, of... Nah, all sorted. Like, just admit you got the problem with timing, yeah? Nah, Dave. You're useless. Direct from the US for the headliners show, Keith Robinson. Keith, how about. are you? Hold on one second. <laughs> Wanda, this is bullshit. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Welcome. Well, wow, thanks. Is man. this your I first feel... comedy festival? No, man. I've been here at 98. I'm telling them 1998 right. it was the first time I came here. And we had a great time. First time I saw you live on stage, I just started comedy. Oh. I come to New York to just to check out comedy, and I saw you like three times in a week at the Comedy Cellar, just turn the place upside down. Well, that's what I do. That's what I'm trying to get these people to understand. That's what Keith Robinson does. I'd flip the place. There were people, there were people crying and hugging, just going, "I didn't know life could get this good." <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tell me a bit about the uh, the headliner show that's happening that you're a part of. Tell us a bit about it. Part of the headliner show, I get to do 20 minutes with uh, three other great comics, I think. I think it's three or four, whatever it is. It's a great show. Yeah. Every, you know, all the comics are pretty strong. That's why they call it the headliner show, because we're headliners, baby. Yes, here in Australia. So, and that's, that's, that'll be great. It'll be a great show. I'll do my 20 minutes and I'll knock it out of the park. Cool. I want to stand an ovation before I leave Australia. And I, I'm not going to be satisfied till I see the people standing with cheer and, and love in their heart. I want to be carried around the room, actually. Throwing some flowers on the Just stage? Just flowers on the stage, you know, uh, a bra, maybe a spank, whatever. I just want, <laughs> <laughs> I want love. Just, just, I'm coming here to get love. Obviously, you're here for the Comedy Festival. Melbourne has, uh, you know, a lot to offer. Do you, uh, do you get out and see much? Do you, do you party during festivals? Of course, you, I yeah? party, man. Last time I was here, I told the guy over there, I party a lot. I probably got a kid here. <laughs> I probably got a kid. I'm hoping the statute of limitations is over, but I think I do have a kid here. <laughs> that could get thrown on stage <laughs> with the mix at the end. <laughs> Seriously, I got a spank and my child that I didn't and know. And a child that I didn't know. <laughs> Hey, Keith, just before I let you go, uh, I have a final five questions for you. Five? First question. What was, now, what was... wait, wait. Now, go, go. No, I'm sorry. First question. But what... you, you, um, no, I'm sorry. First question. So what... when you ask questions <laughs> like this. <laughs> this show is called Headliners. <laughs> go see Keith Robinson. It's happening in the World Town Hall for the Comedy Festival. Thanks very much. My man. Cheers, brother. <laughs> then we start text messaging and... We don't even need to use our legs anymore. We don't have to go anywhere, and our legs are going to start to retract into our bodies, and our arms are going to retract into our bodies, and our mouths will shrivel up into these straw-like tubes, and we'll have nothing left, nothing but two rapidly flapping text messaging thumbs. Uh, is this thing on? <laughs> uh, that is some wild stuff. <laughs> In case you haven't already guessed, we're here with the man I was most excited about meeting today. Tom Green. Hey, how are you, Tommy? Yeah, I'm good, man. How are you? Oh, really good, really good. Yeah, my mom used to call me Tommy when I was a kid. And then I, when I was around 12, I started saying, call me Tom. I wanted, I was, didn't want to be called Tommy anymore. And then Motley Crue came along and made it cool again. Of course, Tommy yeah. Lee. Yeah, absolutely. And Tommy from the Rugrats? Yeah, absolutely. Of course, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Absolutely. No, this is off. good. No, this is good. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks to finally meet you. I've been waiting for... Uh, for this oh, as man, well. I, I was a huge fan of Tom Green's show and then things like Freddie Got Fingered. Oh You've moved into the, in you're taking over the internet world now. Well, you know, I, I, I like to put things on the internet, videos on the internet. This will probably end up on the internet, I bet. Correct. Right? This, this, this here will probably end up on the internet. Got the two shot over there. You can see us both got the single right here. This is just my shot. I know there's a lot of fans, like I said, of things like your show, of, things, of your movie and stuff. What can they expect in your live show? Oh man, just come come on down. We're gonna have some laughs. We're gonna party. We're gonna have some Coopers. We're gonna drink some Coopers. We're gonna roll them to get the yeast all to mix mm. up inside it first. And then we're gonna drink the yeast and get fat stomachs and, and, and laugh and have a good time. Uh, it's, you know, we'll, we'll sit and maybe sing some songs. Probably mostly jokes though. Really, I've sort of stopped doing music a, a little bit in the show. And just mostly a lot of jokes, uh, stories. Do you get people shouting out, 
like lines and stuff like even when you said I've stopped doing songs the first thing I thought in my head was oh but I want to hear Crack Baby yeah Crack Baby you know that's the, the thing the thing about being in Australia which is exciting is Crack Baby don't come back Crack Baby don't come back eh there you go I did that for you Tom thank you appreciate that it that never aired in America no one ever saw that you know, what do you mean no, that never aired on MTV that was from my early Canadian shows that were released on DVD and people in Australia know all that stuff which is cool but I don't mind if people shout out uh Daddy, would you like some sausage? <laughs> hey, Tom, we have to let you go, but before we do, I've got five quick fire questions for you to five end the round. Quick fire questions. How do you feel okay. about this? Rapid fire. Question number one When did you last vomit? <sighs> well, five minutes ago. <laughs> Question number two Have you ever stolen anything? Yes, I, I have once, yeah. What was it? Uh, it's sort of embarrassing. There was, there was a party in high school. Uh, some kid threw a party and I went into one of the bedrooms and uh, his father was a bus driver and he had about 50 bus driver shirts in, in, the, in the closet and so I thought it'd be kind of funny to, to, to snag a bus driver shirt and wear it to school every day. Like, oh, hey, look, I'm a bus driver, I'm a bus driver, I got the bus driver. It was the blue shirt and it said the bus yeah. driver come, I'm a bus driver, I'm a bus driver. And after I got tired of my little joke, I, I tossed it under the bed in the, in the spare bedroom at my parents' house and my father found it and thought my mom was cheating on him. <laughs> <laughs> question number question number three. If you had to throw something at a small child, what would it be? A brick. <laughs> question number four. If you could have dinner with anyone in the world, who would it be? That wasn't a very nice answer, was it? The brick thing. I was into it. This is a disgusting thing to say. A small child. Come on. First of all, the fact that you asked it makes you an asshole as well, okay? Because you're setting me up for that. I'm happy to be here. You're the asshole here, okay? This is rapid fire. I didn't have time to think about it. And yeah. the final question. Tom Green, if you could sum up this interview in just one word, what would it be? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Tom Green, his show is happening at the Athenaeum. Make sure you go check him out. I mean, you. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Thanks, Tom. Well, that's all we have time for for this, the Melbourne International Comedy Festival Backstage Edition. We hope you've had fun. Thanks for joining us. There's only one thing left for you guys to do, and that is go and see some shows. Get off your asses, get off your couches, and go. And what better place to start than my show? It's called A Fistful of Apologies. It's running at Arthur's Bar till the end of the festival. Get there. Cheers, guys. Bye.